YouTube, what is up? How is everybody doing today? We are jumping into something a little bit different. Something I never expected to ever react to in my life, mate. But still, we have Harper, who actually I completely forgot who she is, but I'm assuming she's um some kind of like young talent for certain things, man. Whichever way, like was she like a growl or something on something, whichever way. But still, there's a song. Which was written by Brand of Sacrifice, who came as Romans, like, you know, literally, like, like, Brand of Sacrifice, like, one of the best deathcore bands in existence. And it's called Weight of the World. Like, for me, it's a, how to really explain it the best way, like, I don't agree with putting people at the top because they're kids. Like, I don't agree with pushing people into the limelight if they don't have the talent to be there. So I'm going to give it the most honest opinion I possibly can. If it's good, it's good. If it sounds amazing, it sounds amazing. If it sounds bad, it's going to be bad. Normally I skip on my stream, but this is an unskippable song as I just want that opinion to be there. It has to be there. Like, I don't want to dash people's streams, but I also don't want to give people false hope either. Like, once you make it, you make it. If you don't, you don't. It's a thing that happens. But we'll see. You can tell it was written by, by Brandon Sacrifice. That much you can tell. I don't know, man. Like, it's... Um, how to fucking explain it? Like, it's not... The mixing is, like, purposefully done. If Does that make sense? So, like, you have the chorus where it's all perfectly in line, but Harper's, Harper's verse, so, like, say the mix was here, and say the chorus is here, right, in mixing. Her voice was about here. You know, where you can only hear the very top of a voice, where you can only hear the very, very top of it. It's why she's very much in vocal fight up until she hit the I'm going nowhere, where she went into a bit of a low, but the mixing is purposefully pushed around a little bit, and I don't know why. It doesn't sound bad, but it doesn't sound amazing either. Not yet, but we'll see. The chorus is a little bit iffy, but I'm not. I feel like she is doing a pretty fucking good job, but we'll see. I need to hear more. There we go, now her mixing's right. Her mixing's right now. Don't know what that first one was with. Honestly, that was a breakdown point, man. <laughs> literally, like, that was a proper fucking breakdown point. But I know this one coming. Like, this one literally here, that's coming up, man. So, we'll see. But, let's see. What, let, let's see what, what has she gone to so far. So, she has a very decent vocal fire. Um, She can go into her lows, which we see. Like, obviously, there's a lot more to see. Um, but she has very good control of her voice. Especially for her age. When her foot her age, it's like... Like, how much of it is mixing, how much of it is her? I'm guessing a lot of it is her. As it takes a lot of time to get a very good growl, it takes... Let's see... Last time I heard someone Alex Terrible talk about it, it took him, like... 
Templar years to learn how to grow up properly, right? To get to his level to that top of the death core spectrum level where you've just got insanity control over your voice, right? But no, for her age, for what she can do, for being able to work with people like Brand of Sacrifice so early, she's gonna learn a lot, man, especially from from um the demon king himself man and everybody else around her like if she gets dropped into that death core world where they teach her how to do everything like she'll be able to growl properly in a matter of years and then she's most likely going to be the you know i've been looking for the a female vocalist that does what the guys can do this is probably the closest we're going to get to it if she keeps going with it if she keeps hitting the fucking stride of the death core spectrum but real city man and it's interesting it's not what i expected actually like she's actually blowing me away with how decent she sounds so man fuck it let's see lyrically where are we going man like obviously we've got to break this all the way down to you want to take from me what does not belong to you i am not your enemy don't try and stop me from holding the crown i swear i'm going nowhere like you don't you dare try to push me away from the shit this is what i do this is my lip this is my breath man this is how the fuck i roll type shit then when the weight of the world is upon me will you bend the knee like will you be able, will you bend the knee to the world will you will you will this weight make you break or will you be able to push through that or would you be crushed beneath the weight of royalty like the weight of royalty is, is like that's a weird man it's like it's weird hearing it like because that like the i'm a queen i'm a badass person it's more like a pop r and b shit but hearing it done in a metal way is kind of fucking sick too to be fair with you i am the sword under the sheath like she is she is the thing about to fucking kill you or they're the thing about to fucking kill you when the weight of the world is upon me will you lend me your strength or would you be crushed beneath the weight of royalty i am the sword i am your queen like yeah like she is the sword she's the one dictator she's the one cutting but would you be the shield would you be the one protecting so the sword can kill would you be the one protecting or that would you allow your own strength to lend to hers in order for her to keep going and interesting it's very well written obviously written by brand of sacrifice so what do you expect in all honesty man but yeah i didn't turn my back and let you bleed it's like a black cloud haunts me now i can't breathe come for me i swear that you won't take anything this was the kingdom that worshipped me now it's the reason why i can't say this now it's my how like yeah now it's her how now this is the way it, the world is going man used to be a thing where she loved what she enjoyed doing where she did everything but now it's something which she can't even stand to be around something that's torturing her that's eroding her psyche in that sense man and you feel it like you can tell she's really really putting everything into this man you can see it well, metaphorically see it It's like she's a, um, you know, like a half god goddess type person looking down upon them, rather than somebody living among them, like you know the queen that's worth but you know, you, you know what I mean. I want to hear the breakdown. The breakdown is what I want to hear. Man, this is a, this is a brand fucking breakdown. We know they know how to do them. Oh, she's fucking trying, though. She's really fucking trying. Man, but I get props to where it's fucking doing, man. She really fucking went for it. She really fucking tried. I know, I never thought I would be either, but damn. I wanna hear her in the fucking, in the, like another two or three years where she's got some more experience, but fuck, man. She's very, very, very well. She's doing very well for herself right now. Yeah, 
interest in them. I mean, never say never, right, but in terms of just pure, like, talent, in terms of pure future, like, if a pure future thinking, pure, I'm thinking, like, at the end of 2027, 2028, like, she's gonna be the next big fucking thing, she's gonna be the next big death core giant, most likely, man, if her, like, her, her breakdowns are still better than half of the adult female metalcore deathcore vocalists are doing right now so if her if her breakdowns are better now than what the adults are doing now what is she gonna be when she's much older when she's in a way where she's an adult when she's matured when she's got that experience man if you're around her fucking car Anderson, if you're around the deathcore scene you really think you're not gonna learn how to do ridiculous vocal techniques man it's just like fucking hell man I'm excited for the future. It makes me th it makes me thankful and happy to see what the future's what the future's gonna be like. I'm glad it wasn't some bullshit. I'm glad she's really fucking going for it. You can hear it. You can tell that breakdown took a lot, man. That breakdown was ridiculous. Like she needed she needs to work more on her lows because she's not in the deathcore spectrum yet. Her, her her breakdown low is more in the just below her mids, right? So like you have your highs, which is very good at you have your mids, then you have your lows. So, and then you have your lows with, of course, um, the way you move your tongue, like underneath your teeth and stuff like that, which adds more to the low to make it into a more into a more deathcore style. So, man, lots and lots and lots to improve on for her, but from where she is, man, I'm fucking impressed. So, yeah, man, I hope you guys enjoyed. Regardless, have a wonderful day, everybody. Take it easy.